as oil and gas companies are considering how best to weather the current storm and prepare for any lasting impacts from COVID-19. A pivot from a pure oil and gas to an energy services focus, especially such as energy as renewable or from sustainable sources, is in itself another challenge being faced. This is as world leaders believe decarbonization is key to succeeding in a net zero global economy. The global threat now poses the question, if the future of the oil and gas industry is still bright amidst discussions around global energy transition uptake. Strongly believe that there is a future for oil and gas. What I do know, however, is that that future is going to be different, different from what we have today. It's going to be better, it's going to be cleaner. Why do I say this? 53% of the world's energy is produced and supplied by oil and gas. And this, are, this spreads across sectors of transportation, sectors of manufacturing and chemicals. And I'm pretty sure you understand how important this is to the world today. But what I see happening is a change in the use of, in the way we use energy, the way we produce energy is going to be different, it's going to be better, it's going to be cleaner. Today already we see the likes of Germany having to resume the use of coal as a result of the absence of gas from Russia. The Russia-Ukraine crisis and the COVID-19 pandemic are further compounding the existential and financial threats these companies are facing as supply chain disruption is on the rise. Survival is hinged on the constant development and execution of business strategies. COVID-19 was, was a crazy time for everybody. It, it shook the world. Nobody expected it. I, I didn't. I'm not sure you did. And uh, what had to happen was business had to still continue. What is going to happen is I see all stakeholders coming together, especially in the oil and gas industry, due to its importance to the world to find ways of evolving and ways of changing and ways of making oil and gas better. We're trying to grow a better Africa. So this is something that really shook us, but we still had to do business in line with the long-term contracts that we had. The business world today is more complex, volatile and fast moving than ever before. And while these businesses in Africa and beyond may not have all the answers, it is only expedient they rise to the occasion to sustain their corporate legacies. Likon on Mabanjo, reporting for New Central.